Darwin Phillips Lovecraft. And uh, today's question comes to us from Caelan, who wants to know whether or not I agree with the aphorism that no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Now, on the surface, this is a rather heartening, motivational phrase. It, it suggests that in a world where we're always comparing ourselves with one another, we can refuse to participate and stoically set ourselves apart. But I wonder if it's strictly speaking true. It seems to place a great deal of undue burden on the simple act of feeling. And feelings and emotions are, well, hard to pin down. They're they're reflexive, almost chemical in nature. One could easily suppress them as one could suppress the workings of a thyroid. No, I, I think this is part and parcel with how society reacts to emotion and tries to label them as, as negative or positive, when really they're, well, beyond such moralizing. Society does its best to, to try to keep us from feeling sadness or loneliness or racial prejudice against the Belgians. But really, I think more important than the feelings themselves is how we choose to act upon them, or how we let them paralyze us. Let's look at this, this sense of inferiority. Anyone who exposes themselves to the wider world will eventually come across a creator, an artist, someone who does what they do only better. The most objectively greatest artists has someone they view as their superior. But the question is, do they look at this work of superior craftsmanship and say, well, that's it, I refuse to even try anymore? Or are they motivated to try even harder, to say, if they can do it, I can do it. In fact, I could probably do it better if I apply myself. Let's see. That is the difference. That is how we should look at these things. Look at all emotions. Sadness can lead us down paths of self-destruction or to acts of great empathy, of anger can lead to violent rages or righteous fury and action. Even that oldest and most primal emotion, fear, can motivate us if, to nothing else, run exceedingly quickly. So, feel your feelings. Don't despair of them. Just make sure they don't paralyze you in your tracks. Now, for part of me, I am going to take my own advice and use my feelings to go oppress some Belgians. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.